Hello friends, welcome back to the Python programming session. In today's session, let's see one of the code examples for how we can create a dig real-time digital clock in TK Inter. So we need to import two modules for it, that is the TK Inter module and the time module. We are importing the time module because we have a method called strf time that is formatting the time with the help of format specifiers. So in today's session, let's see how we can create a real-time digital clock. So I've written the code. I'll write it once again. But before that, let me show you how it gets executed. So I'm having a label called digital clock. Then I'm having the hours, minutes, seconds. The seconds gets updated. And after every 60th second, the minute gets updated. And after every 60 sec minutes, the hours gets updated. And we have the PM or AM, specifying whether it's AM or PM. So the first one is a label widget, which is having a text called digital clock. The second one is also a label widget, which is holding the time. The third one is a label widget, which is holding the day of the week. So the day on which I've recorded this video is a Saturday. So it is displayed as Saturday. And then I'm having the date that is December 31st, 2022. So we need four labels basically. And let's see how we can create a digital clock in Python programming language. So friends, initially I'm having from TK inter import all and I have to import the time module as well. So from time import star. So I'm importing two modules. One is TK inter module and the other is the time module. Then I'm having my main window. Then let me give a background color for my window as bg equal to black that is let me give a black background color for my main window so after creating the main window i can give win.config and i can say background color is black so my whole window becomes black now we have to have four labels one for the digital clock second for the time third for the day of the week and fourth for the date So let me create my labels over here. So first one is nothing but label one equal to label the method label. I'm placing it on the main window. Font for this is equal to <coughs> Cooper Black. And the size, font size, I'm giving it as 30. And then I'm having, giving the text equal to digital clock. And I'm giving a foreground color equal to pink. And a background color equal to black. So these are the things which I'm specifying for my label 1 and I'm placing my label 1 onto the screen with the help of the pack method. Now let me create another label. Which I'm calling it as time label. So which is displaying the time on the screen. So I'm giving it as time label. Similarly, over here also, let me change it to time underscore label. So even this I'm placing out on my main window. It is also Cooper Black and the font size for this is 50. There is no text for this because I have to give the time. So no text has been, no, we should not provide any text here foreground color I am giving it as sign 
C Y A N the color cyan and background color is equal to black and I am placing it on my screen. Now let me so for the time label I have given Cooper blank this is a cyan color digital clock is in pink color. Next I have to have one more label for displaying the day of the week. So let me copy this. Let me say it as day label. And below also let me make it as day label. It is also a label. So, and I am placing it on the main window. Font equal to papyrus. Font type is nothing but papyrus. size is equal to 30 and the color foreground color I am giving it as pink background is black and I am placing it on my main screen then I am having my date label so let's give that particular label as well date underscore label date underscore label so even this is a label widget. I am placing it on the main screen. Main window font is papyrus 30. Foreground is pink. Background is black. And I am placing the label on my. Packing it onto the screen. So friends for the first one I am giving it as digital clock. So this digital clock appears. But for this one to update I am not giving any text. So that text I will update it real time. So let me call a function in which I will update time label, day label and the date label. So let me define my function called show. So my time label let me update it over here. When I call the show function it will it will call the show function and then it will update my time label. So for this what value should the time get updated? So let me have a string variable called time underscore value equal to strf time. So format time I am using the method and I am using the format specifiers to get the time in my desired requirement. So I want it as percentage H for hours. I'm If I want hours I have to use percentage H space colon then percentage M for minutes space colon percentage S for seconds space and then percentage P for displaying PM or AM small p. So when I give strf time and I give the format specifiers the time appears in this particular format that is hours colon minutes colon seconds and then AM or PM. So for hours it is capital H for minutes it is percentage capital M for seconds it is percentage capital S and for AM or PM it is percentage small p. So this value I have to update on my string variable on the time label. So how do I do or how do I go about it? So time underscore label dot config I am changing the parameters of the time label. I am saying my text is equal to time underscore value. So whatever time value is there it will appear as the text in the time label widget label widget. And now let's go up ahead and update my day label and date label. So day underscore value is equal to strf time and I am using the format specifier as percentage A. Sorry, percentage 
a and now let me say my day underscore label dot config my text now gets updated to day value day underscore value so day underscore value i'm using percentage a directive or format specifier it gives the day of the week whether it's a wednesday thursday the whole day not the short form of the day but the whole day so day label dot config config when do we use when we want to change the parameters of the label widget so here i'm changing the parameter of the day label widget by say by using config i'm adding the day value to the text parameter so my day label gets updated with the day of the week then i'm having my date label so date underscore value equal to strf time for this i'm using the format specifier as percentage b for the month of the year whether it's a january february march so the whole month of the year i'll get when i use percentage b and the date whether it's 24 25th so that i get with percentage d that is small d and then i'm giving for the year percentage y so i get whether it's 2021 or 2022 so whatever value is today's date it will consider that particular value now i have to update my date label with this particular value so i'll say date underscore label dot config text equal to date value so hope so our entire code is completed now let me execute it let me close my previous window so i get my digital clock which has the time it's at present 139 and 58 seconds pm and it's a saturday and it's december 31st 2022 so the day when i recorded my video is this particular date and time but the time is not increasing it is static it's not dynamic even the seconds are not getting increased because i'm calling my function only once the show function is called once and whatever date time value is there it will get displayed now i have to make it a dynamic or a real time clock so how do i go about it so i want to update my clock every second so for this i have to use win dot after i'm using the after method it takes two parameters one is the delay so i give it delay i am giving it as 1000 which is in milliseconds so 1000 milliseconds is equal to 1 second so after every 1 second i want my function to call recursively so when i give win dot after the window has got these parameters that is time val time label day label date label so all these three dynamically keeps updating so when i say win dot after 1 milli after 1000 milliseconds 1000 milliseconds is nothing but 1 second it will call the function show again so and at that time after 1 second whatever is the time it gets updated so friends here we are calling the show function once and within the show function i am recursively calling the show function every 1 second so we get a real time clock by using this particular code so we have to use win dot af win is the window main window dot after method i have to use i have to give the delay and i have to give the function which it calls again now when i run the code see the seconds is increasing so it keeps updating every 1 second because it calls the show function recursively 
so after 60 my minutes will get increased to 43 so let's wait and see so friends this is how with the help of labor uh, with the after method we can create a real time clock in python programming language so we're basically using two modules 60 so it's increased to 43 so it's a real time clock we have created with the help of tk inter module and the time module in the time model you have used the method strf time and with the help of format specifiers we have obtained we have obtained the time as per our requirement so friends these are the labels which will hold the values the first one holds digital clock the second time label holds the time value that is hours minutes seconds am or pm then the third one holds the day that is wednesday fourth one holds the date that is december 31st 2022 so this is how with the help of tk inter and time module we can create a real time digital clock in python programming language hope so friends it was clear for you if you have any doubts please do reach to me out in the comment section if you like my video click on the like button and please do subscribe to get notifications of my new videos till then see you bye bye